was looking to step up and have a big time fight. His original opponent was just the man to make that happen. Former world titleist Paul Williams, a feared six foot two welterweight who won a scorcher over Antonio Margarito and split two fights with the middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Martinez. But only days after signing for the fight, Williams was in a motorcycle accident and was paralyzed from the waist down. That was only about five months ago, but he is here tonight as a guest of Canelo Alvarez. Our own Jim Gray spoke with Williams shortly after his arrival in Las Vegas. Paul, what do you remember from the night of your accident? Well, I remember getting up in the morning at my brother's house. And it was about 7 o'clock in the morning. I remember going to the trunk, putting my, my, my bike jacket on, and you know what I'm saying? Leave me. I, I, I wasn't going fast, and I, I got to the red light. The red light changed green. I took off, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess the car was coming too. You know, we was going around the curve together. And I guess the car didn't come all the way over, but you know, I, I was going around the curve, the car started drifting close to me. So I was going around, so I just moved over. But it was ridges in the road, and the ridges made the bike go like right across, you know what I'm saying? Uncoming cars, dodge this car. Dodge that car. And I'm not going to dodge the other cars. And we went up, it flipped. And people said they saw it, they said when it flipped me, I came down here first and it's folded like a suitcase. To have been so physically gifted and to be a great athlete and a championship fighter, how are you dealing with the mental aspect of this now, having been so great and so physical to not being able to move your limbs? Oh, with me, you know, man, small thing. Right now, I'm still the same. I do everything the same. I'm just chilling in the wheelchair because I got tired of walking. That's what I tell you. <laughs> in your quiet moments when you're laying in your bed, do you think back a lot about your boxing career and about yes. what you accomplished? Oh, yes. I mean, sometimes I think about like, man, I, I accomplished a lot. I did a lot. But I want to do one more. I don't be depressed about it or nothing. I'm like, you know what? Makuna Matata. Man, I ain't worrying about it. That's my way of dealing with all this, like, you know, joking it off, laughing it off, and having fun, like, living life. Because I like, if I was depressed, mad, and sad, I got two problems going on. One, I can't walk. And two, I'm mad and depressed. So I'd rather keep one problem. So I'm like, I'm gonna be happy, man. I'm gonna be me. You know what I'm saying? All this right here, this is temporary. I'm on injury reserve right now. So don't count me out. Do you believe that you'll walk again? Of course I believe I'll walk again. The cord wasn't separated. It just bruised real bad. They moved the bone that was on it. It was bruised. And, you know, so it was like in time, you know, who knows what happened. I can't say you could walk, can't say you can't, but your cord is not, it's not separated. It's, it is bruised. So if you think you can walk, you also feel that it'll be possible at some point to fight again? Oh, yeah. I looked at it like this. Since I'm 31, my birthday is July 27. I just turned 31. So I said, they said you got to give a year or two. You know what I'm saying, for the sweat and all that. So I was okay. They said sometimes it may happen faster. It's all depends on your body. So I was like, okay. If I make it a year or two, if I'm 32, 33, I'll fight. 34, I ain't gonna fight. So I got two years, you know what I'm saying, to really push it. So I'm pushing for that. You know, because I want to get my fans, you know what I'm saying, a good run and show them that, you know, whether I'm hurt or not hurt, you know what I'm saying, I enjoyed the love that y'all gave me. And you know, so I just want to give it back. Where'd you find this attitude? I don't know, man. It's been like this, like from from day one. You know, my game ain't over. I tell them, well, I'm walking or not walking. My game ain't over till the Lord take my life. I'm gonna be okay. You know, what I'm saying, brother, I walk again. I don't walk again. I want to let them know that I can deal with this. Have you know, small thing to a giant. You know, a corner with taller. Don't worry. You know, that's me. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Uh, Paul Williams inspiring in his attitude and Williams was here at the weigh in yesterday and you could scarcely get near him as fans and friends continually went over to say hello Williams again he was 41 and 2 as a pro he's had an outstanding career already our thoughts and prayers are with him as he adjusts the new realities of his life and in his quest to walk again well it was a fine gesture as well by Canelo Alvarez to make sure Williams made it here to this event.